What is a general safety regulation? I'm Phil Curry here with another entry into AutoVista 24's What is Explainer video series. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to the AutoVista 24 YouTube channel so you never miss out on another What is or Launch Report video feature. The General Safety Regulation, sometimes abbreviated to GSR2, is a piece of legislation enacted by the European Commission for all EU member states. It introduces a range of mandatory advanced driver assistance systems to help improve road safety, while also establishing the legal framework for the approval of automated and fully driverless vehicles in the EU. The new safety measures will help to protect passengers, pedestrians, and cyclists, and is expected to save over 25,000 lives and avoid at least 140,000 serious injuries by 2038. GSR2 first came into effect in July 2022. At this time, all new vehicles undergoing type approval needed to include new technologies or they would not be passed suitable for road use. In July 2024, the second phase of the regulation came in. This required all new cars on sale, regardless of when they underwent type approval, to feature compliant technologies. These technologies include intelligent speed assistance, reversing detection with cameras and or sensors, driver drowsiness and attention warnings, emergency lane keeping systems, automated emergency braking, emergency stop signals, and an event data recorder. Between July 2024 and July 2029, there will also be a need for new car to be fitted with an advanced driver distraction warning, safer and longer lasting tires, and improved safety glass. But what are these new technologies? We have already covered what intelligent speed assistance is in a previous What Is edition. You can find it in the What Is playlist on the AutoVista 24 YouTube channel. Reversing detection systems have been included in vehicles for a number of years, with new cars also featuring blind spot cameras to ensure cyclist and pedestrian safety, and some systems can also offer a top-down view to give a better understanding of a car's surroundings. The driver drowsiness and attention warning system requires a sensor placed behind and protruding above the center of the steering wheel. This monitors a driver's eye line and provides an audible alert should their focus not be straight ahead for a set amount of time. The emergency lane keeping system uses sensors in the front of the vehicle to detect road lines and will provide steering input should the vehicle stray over these lines. These inputs are not strong enough, however, to prevent changing lanes if that is the driver's intention. Automated emergency braking uses sensors to detect objects in the vehicle's path, and if no braking input is applied, will slow the vehicle to a standstill quickly to avoid a collision. The emergency stop signal system will automatically activate the hazard lights if significant braking force is applied to warn drivers behind of a potential incident. Finally, the event data recorder or black box will store certain vehicle data and help determine fault in the event of an accident. This data includes speed, braking input, airbag deployment, and how onboard safety systems have reacted. While these protocols only apply in EU countries, they will be rolled out across Europe, as it is cheaper for car makers to include technologies in vehicles sold in all markets rather than remove them for non-EU member states. There is also, of course, the safety aspect involved. This general safety regulation video, it is one in a series of automotive explainer features covering new terms and technologies. Check out the AutoVista24 YouTube channel and autovista24.com to find out more and stay up to date with everything happening in the automotive market. Thanks for watching.